Hello, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to put together this cute decor piece from Dimensional Paper Cuts. It's the Birdhouse with a Perch. It stands about 12 inches tall, which is a, a nice piece for your little vignettes sitting around the house. So um, I have some tricks here, so let's get busy. We're going to start by putting together the post and the base. And um, on my original one, which was photographed, I did ink the edges. On this one, I'm opting for a little bit more of a clean look, so I'm not going to do that. Um, all of my decorative papers today were used from a 6x8 pad that was the P13 Always and Forever line. Um, I found it really economical and pretty great that I was able to use all the decorative paper from one 6x8 pad because that made it a pretty cheap project. I also want to mention that when you're choosing your papers, this is a project that you don't want to use the thin papers on. Stick with the 80, 80 pound or above. Um, you don't want it, 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 this is a project that has some height to it. So you want to make sure that it doesn't topple from side to side because it's too late or too light. And you also want to make sure that, heaven forbid, you don't want it to collapse. So um, pick some paper with some heft to it and I think it will make the project go much better. Um, when I cut the pieces off camera, I went ahead and made sure that all the scored lines folded back and forth easily so that when I was assembling it, it would um, fold nicely in and out. Okay, so what we're going to do now that we have these pieces on is we're going to go ahead and close this up like a little box and then we're gonna set it aside. Now, generally with most projects, you wanna put your decorative pieces on last, but for this project, we're gonna go ahead and put them on as we go. And I'm gonna show you about that because in some of them, some of the pieces are gonna be harder to access later because of the height and the pieces. So here I'm double checking, making sure that all the pieces go back and forth so that we won't run into some problems later. And I'm gonna set that aside. Um, now I'm going to pick up the pieces of, it looks like a pizza box. It's the base. And um, you can see from the top there with the square on it, that is the top and we're gonna insert the little post that we just made inside that hole. Now it's a really snug fit. So the easiest way to get that in is to work on your corners first and then just kind of wiggle it down there until you get to those score lines. Um, it, it'll seem like at first it doesn't want to go. It does. It fits perfectly. And then we're going to make sure that it's in there nice and tight so it stands up straight. If it doesn't stand up straight, your whole project is just going to be kind of wonky and we don't want that. So now that I know that I've got the post in, I've tested it on the flat surface to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and add the glue to all four tabs at once. Um, then I'm going to put it against the flat surface again and press down with um, my fingers or a bone folder or a scoring tool like I'm using here. Um, it doesn't really matter what, just to make sure, there you go, press it down, get it down in there good. Now we're gonna take that decorative piece that goes on the base and we're gonna apply it now because once we get the top on, it's gonna be really hard to access. So I wanna make sure that the glue goes out to the edges because we don't want that uh, curling up and it'll be really hard to access later. So go ahead and put that on just by sliding it down and make sure that you kind of look from the top to get it centered and uh, it should be no problem there once we got it. I do wanna mention that the files in the Etsy store come in dash score lines as well as solid score lines and it also comes with a info sheet. But 
you can also now find all of the files for dimensional paper cuts. Well, not all of them yet, but soon at the Silhouette Design Store. So if you purchase from the design store, you will be getting the uh, dash score lines. And I'm really excited to be there. I love the company and it's really great to be partnering with them. So now that we have the top on, it feels kind of weird because it's a little heavy on one side, but we're adding glue to the corner tabs. And then we're just gonna kind of fold it over and we're gonna do one tab at a time. And we're gonna hold it for just a second, just to make sure that it attaches nicely so that um, you know it doesn't wanna flatten a little bit later. So there's the other side. So I'm gonna start with the back and then I'm gonna go towards the front. But yeah, make sure that's in nice, nice and tight. Some of my glue dried up a little bit there, so I'm gonna add a little, little touch more, make sure it goes all the way out to the edge. I don't want a bunch seeping out, but yet, you know, I, I don't want it to come apart either. And is it me? Or have any of you also noticed, I think that scotch glue has gotten a lot thinner over time, which is kind of crazy. So I've been kind of experimenting around with different glues. Leave a message below and, and let me know what glue you like to use. I know later in the process, we're going to use um, a double-sided adhesive, but you know, glue is just so much easier and it's pretty economical. It's kind of my go-to. But um, I used some tacky glue the other day and had a really nice, um, a nice experience with that. I just made sure it was applied very, very thinly. And um, I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit more because that's really cheap glue. Okay, so here I'm gonna put it on the very front because like a pizza box, when you fold it over, the tab goes on the inside. This we're gonna put on the outside, just like that. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and square so we don't have any problems. And then I'm just gonna fold that top flap down and we're gonna hold it there. Eh, I'm gonna add a little more glue. Okay. So this part's pretty simple and we're gonna set that aside and let it cure when, as we move on to our um, other, other pieces. We wanna make sure that that is nice and settled. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna work on the perch part. The perch is actually a little bit more difficult, but not really, just take your time. Um, take the long piece with all those little teethy tabs and we're going to fold them down and back make sure it kind of moves freely there and um, make sure that the tabs on the two perch pieces go back and forth as well um, the perch consists of a total of four elements and then the one right you know then the one right there just doesn't have the tab on the back and that's going to go as a covering piece so if even if, if you wanted to go ahead and cut that out of something else that's fine too so we're going to start with one piece and we're going to start with the long piece um, i'm going to move those bottom tabs out of the way on the ends and we're going to add some glue to only about two or three to start with okay not too many so there, let's get that bottom tab out of the way. And we're gonna take that piece and get its bottom tab out of the way. And we're gonna make sure that those two line up right there. And we're gonna hold that for just a second longer than normal to make sure that we get a nice good anchor there. Push it down good trying to get some of that extra out of the way. Now, if, if you notice what I'm doing here is I have those little teethy tabs on the outside of that, um, that perch piece. And this is just the easiest way to put it together. Make sure that those bottom pieces match up. And there we go, okay? It's, I know it's a, it's a dark color, so it's kind of hard to see, but you got the tabs on the outside 
and we only started off with, remember, like about three or four. So here I'm going to turn it over and you can kind of see where the tabs are attached right there. So let's go ahead and add some more glue and we're just going to do three or four at a time. Um, too many and it's just going to turn out to be a giant glue mess. And speaking of glue messes, we're going to get this out of the way there too. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm holding it there with my thumb and my finger on the inside, and we're just going to hold it there for a second. Very good. Get some of that out of the way there. Okay. All right, so that seems to be going along quite well. So let's do a few more tabs. Now, when you go up around that curve, you're not going to want to do a whole bunch at once. Stick with two, three, four on the, um, on the straight pieces, but around the curve, you're going to want to stay with two or three. And I'm going to just kind of almost pinch it there with my thumb and uh, my finger on the other side. Make sure we got that nice curve there around. It'll fit perfectly. So just take your time. And there you can see on the other side. Okay, so now we're ready to add a couple more tabs. Get some of that extra glue off. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe it's the weather. It's been super, super humid here in the south. So everything seems to be a little more moist than normal. Okay, so it went around that curve real nice, you can see. And now I sped it up just a little bit because, you know, we're, we're basically watching glue dry. So going around those tabs again, or excuse me, around the corner. And we're heading up to the straight, the straight side. For the straight side, you can do a few more, you know, that'll secure very easily. There we go. Okay, and then just a few more left. And as you can see, it lines up perfectly at the end. And then we just have that little tab at the bottom that we're gonna fold out of the way here. There we go, make sure that's secured. And there you go, that's, that's that part. Okay, so we've got one side down. I'm gonna press against it, against a flat surface while I have the opportunity. Make sure it's nice and um, secure, and it is. And it kinda of looks like a little tongue there. So I'm gonna fold those, those end tabs out of the way here, and then we're gonna add our top piece. And the top piece also has the little tab, and we're just gonna stick it right on the top there. Um, for this one, it's pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and add some glue to all of the tabs. And that'll make placing it pretty easy because basically what you're doing is just laying it on top. Okay, I got some of the glue out of the way. All right, there we go. Now just make sure it's nice and lined up. Just line it up and then just kind of, you know, rotate it around with your fingers, making sure you got all the edges secured. You know, if you need to add a little extra glue, go ahead. I think we're good here. It's all lined up. Now you can see that on the first piece we did, we have some tabs exposed and we don't want that. Um, we're going to go ahead and add this straight piece that did not have the tabs at the end. kind of just looks like a tongue. And we're going to add that to the top to cover those tabs. And there you go. Like I said, that top cover piece, if you wanted to use a wood grain or a different um, pattern paper for that, that would be great too. Okay, this part's pretty simple. Now that my post and base are cured, I'm going to add some um, those decorative strips to that base as well. I sped this up just a little bit, I think, so that that way 
Um, you know, I'm pretty sure you know how to glue paper down or you wouldn't be here. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is a pretty easy project. You have already done the most difficult part. Um, now it's a matter of getting everything in the right order so that uh, you don't have some exposed tabs. So there's our base, there's our post. So we're gonna set this aside and now we're going to move along to the house base. Um, it comes in two pieces. We have the back and one side and the front and one side. So we're gonna go ahead and connect those together with that glue tab right there. Easy peasy. We're gonna lay it down on top and make sure it's lined up to the score lines. And of course, before I did this, I did, as you can see, fold the score lines back and forth to make sure that they're gonna move freely, which they did. Now I'm just gonna run that um, little score tool back and forth across there to make sure that it is secured, which it is. Now, before we can move on to the perch, we're gonna wanna add um, the covering panels because it'll be nearly impossible to add the covering panels on once the perch is attached. So um, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Sorry, I moved that out of the way there. And because that's also just pretty much gluing paper. We're gonna, for that, line up your holes for the openings of the birdhouse, as well as the hole for the perch and the rest will fall in place normally. For the side pieces, you wanna kind of center those in the middle of that side. So um, I used this coordinating pattern. I actually like that really well. I kind of wish I would have done that on the other one. Uh, that P13 paper is nice and thick, so it works really good for a, a, a project like this. I was really happy with that. I have used it in one or two other projects and I, I really like the way that came out. Okay, one more to go. And there we have it. All right. So now we have our house base covered so we're going to put it together like a little box by attaching the tab there to the edge and fold it over like a little box, right like that. We're gonna make sure that um, the bottom is lined up with the bottom, nice and even, so that your house isn't a little bit um, crooked. You know, nobody wants a crooked house. I'm sure the birds wouldn't mind, but it would probably drive me crazy. All right, so to close this up, it's actually easier just to lay it all flat, push it down good, give it some nice pressure, and there we go. We're gonna go from the other side. And there, our tabs are free. Everything's lined up nicely. It's nice and thick and we are ready to proceed. I'm going to go ahead while I have this flat and add some glue to the little round um, the little round uh, hole opening covers, uh, just the little decorative elements that go around the circles. And I just want to make sure that those are kind of lined up too. I think it's easier to do when it's flat there. So we'll do, whoops, got a little carried away there. Okay. So we've got that one and one more. Add a little glue there too. Got a little extra out there. Get some of that off so it doesn't ooze out because this is the front. I want the front to look nice and pretty because that's what people are going to see the most. There we go.
Okay, that was pretty easy. All right, so now what we're going to do is um, work on that perch. So let's go ahead and grab that. The glue must have, uh, uh, you know, it, it's set up a little bit now, make it a little bit safer to work with. I'm gonna fold those little tabs in so that I could stick it in the hole and we're gonna add some glue to the outside, not the inside, the outside, because those are gonna unfold on the, in, on the inside of the house, all right? And just like when we put the post in the base, this is going to go in um, snugly, but it fits really nice, all right? So just make sure it's straight, make sure everything's straight. I got a little off camera there. And then I'm going to stick my hands on the inside and just hold those pieces and fold those pieces out so that they will glue. Try and see. There we go. Can you see that? I just opened those folds up so that they would stick. Okay. Now let's turn this over and lay it flat and you can see there, now when that dries, that's going to be nice and solid. Okay, now what we're going to do is work on the bottom of the house. We obviously need a bottom. So we're going to take the uh, paper that has the square in it and we are going to put that down on the top of the post. And like the other ones, it's a snug fit at first, but once you get those corners in there, you can just kind of wiggle that down. There you go, just wiggle it down a little bit. And you wanna pull it down to where your score line is because that's where you're gonna unfold those tabs then and glue those there, just like that. Okay. Make sure that it, that is nice and even because if that's not even, your house is going to be crooked and nobody wants a crooked house. All right, this is hard to see, but what I'm doing is turning it, turning it, you know, upside down. Unfortunately, you're just looking at the bottom, but then I'm going to take it and push it down just like that so that that way I am sure before I add the glue that it's going to be even. Okay, so now I'm gonna take those four tabs, push them back up, and go ahead and add glue to all four of them at once. Now, I'm gonna try and be careful not to move them. I have that, uh, that base panel exactly where I want it. So I'm just gonna put some glue down there near the base and we are going to pull all of those down and now they'll just glue right in place. Okay, so I'm gonna flip that back over and we're gonna push it down again. Make sure it's nice. See, I'm doing the same as I did before, just pushing it down with my scoring tool. You don't need to use a scoring tool. You can use your fingers or um, a piece of cardboard or you know whatever works best for you. Um, I just had that laying there on the desk, so why not? <laughs> okay, so now we have that. That is the bottom of our house. I'm gonna let it set for a second, and then we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the house frame, or the house body. Um, the house body has the four tabs there. Make sure they go back and forth a little bit, and we're gonna apply some glue to all four of those at once. Um, I want to make sure it gets all the way out to the edge so that I don't have gaps when I go to set it on top, but, um, not so much that it oozes out. There's a, there's kind of a fine line there. Okay. And then, um, we're going to add it to the, to those sides as well. There is a low overlap in the corners, which is kind of nice. That helps keep it square. Um, so I like doing that. It just, it just adds a little more sturdy rather than having a mitered corner. A mitered corner I think tends to slip just a little bit more. 
because we don't want it to rock back and forth like that. We want to keep it nice and square. So we're going to go ahead and now that we have that, let's see, I slipped off camera there for just a little bit. I'm going to add one, just one of those tabs. I'm going to do it straight so I can see what I'm doing before I just plop it right down. So I'm going to anchor it with just the one there, you can see. And then I'm going to fold it closed. Okay, make sure that's nice and anchored on that one side. And then I'm going to close it on top of the other three sides. Does that make sense? You'll see here in just a second. Okay. Once we have that one nice and lined up, it makes the other ones go a little bit easier. It's kind of hard to see with the base in there. There you go. Now I'm just going to put that on the, t close it up just like a little box. And I'm going to use my hands there to make sure that it stays nice and square and just kind of hold it around and rotate it a little bit. I know it's hard to see because that base keeps getting there. There we go. Might have to add a little bit more glue right there. I don't know. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to hold that for a second and make sure it's secure before I lay it down so it doesn't slip. There we go. All right, so that's nice and straight. Everything is lined up perfectly. I'm really happy about that. Okay, now the only thing I don't like is that when you look inside through the little holes, you can see all that ugliness that we just did with all the gluing and the, the, the post. So we're going to cover that up on the inside with, um, I think it's just three by three uh, piece of paper. So that's a covering panel and it's just going to go right down in the center there hands in the way. You can't see very well. I'm going to stick it down in there. Good. Okay. There you go. Now you can kind of see a little bit. Make sure it's all glued down in the corners. There you go. Now that just hides some of that ugliness. Okay, so now we only have the roof left. The roof, um, in my opinion, is a little more challenging because I didn't want to use the liquid glue because I don't want it to leave a little warp line because of the humidity. So I'm using some double-sided um, tape that I got from scrapbook.com. I will leave an affiliate link down there below as well. And I just put it right there on those tabs and it's just a double-sided tape. You can peel the, um, uh, the little carrier sheet off the top, if I can get it off there. Okay, there you go. And then we're gonna put it on there. I, the, I wish I would have used a heavier paper for the roof as well. I, I really kind of wish I would have. Now we're going to line it up. And I've, if you notice here, I on the first one I did, I knew I was going to put that little piece of decorative element in the front. So I didn't want a large overhang in the front. So if that's the case for you, you might want to shift it back a little bit but um, now I remember I've got this double-sided tape, so I'm just going to line it up where I can see it rather than work from the top where I can't. Of course, doing it this way makes it harder for you to see it, but um, I'm just going to line it up to make sure that the roof peak meets up with the score line on the roof piece. And then I can just kind of judge like... Um, you know, it's, it's not an exact thing, but you can tell if it's not straight. There you go. And now that I have it where I want it, I'm going to use my scoring tool again and just add a little pressure to the inside to make sure that that stays in place. Pretty easy. Okay, now I'm going to take 
the carrier sheet off of the other side and then we're basically just going to close it up. This was a really fun project for me. I really liked doing it. It looks cute. I have a little table near the living room um, that's set in with some um, plants. It looks pretty cute. Okay, so I'll see, I'm just going to fold that up. And there we go. Nice and even. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. I really enjoyed um, doing this with you. Um, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe so that we can do some more projects um, real soon. And thanks again. Have a great day.